for practice it exercise 3.20 input birthday we are asked to write a method called input birthday that accepts a scanner for the console as a parameter and prompts the user to enter a month day and year of birth then prints the birthday in a suitable format and here is what our output should look like minus the blue parts that's where our input is going to go so we take a parameter of scanner and in here we are going to just write out our strings since these are going to be um, scanned right after this part is printed out we just need a print and not a print line so we'll have this four times and we can just copy all of our strings into here once all of these strings are copied in we can start putting in our scanners we can do we well we have to store everything that is scanned in so we are going to say for this first part it's an int so it's going to be int and we can call it day is equal to scan dot next int that way this gets the next integer value then we have this line that prints out and we are just going to have um, string because May or the month is a string. We'll call this month, and we'll set it equal to scan dot next. After this line, we're going to be in this line, and it's saying during what year were you born. So we are going to have a, another int. We'll call it year, and set this equal to scan dot next int. That way it grabs the next integer. I like to write these on the same line, but usually it's written like this. But either way works. So this next part, we are going to have um, multiple strings. So we'll have this, and then we will have to add our month variable. We need a space, and then we are going to add our day. And then we are going to add a comma and then a space. And then we are going to add the month. Or we're going to add the year, actually. And then after this, we are going to have another string in here. We just copy this, and then we can submit. And I have an error because I do not have a semicolon there. And after I have the semicolon, still have an error because this needs to be scan.next int since we're storing it in an int. And after we have all of that, our code works. So this is the code that will produce this output.